a whole story. This is the home of one community whose history has never been documented and little is known about them. As we traverse the land of the Endorois, our quest and objective remain one, getting the truth of who are Endorois. A community whose culture has remained rich and undiluted over years despite the interaction with the other communities. According to the oral traditions and linguistic evidence, it is believed the Andorois are amalgamation of Tugen, Ogyek, and James. All other scholars argue that the Endorais is the third Tugen clan, of which Mze Samuel Keptek disputes. As an indigenous, semi-nomadic pastoralist community, livestock rearing remain a treasure in all aspects of an Android's life. Ngombe ni muhimu yake ni kama mtu akuna ngombe sio mtu hata aisabiwe ni mtu sababu ngombe inategemewa kwa vitu mingi na kunywa masiwa watoto na kunywa wewe na kunywa alafu watu na kula nyama wakati naenda msituni na kula nyama ya ngombe kwa hivyo sisi tunaishibu ngombe sababu kama wewe una ngombe wewe ni mtu kama yuko na ngombe wewe ni mzuri una unajika sana mbano kama mimi mimi sikuwa na ngombe lakini mimi nitaputa baba yangu nakatasa mimi yake na mimi naona yuko na ngombe lakini lakini alikatasa mimi mimi nataputa yangu sisi ni watu wa wa wavukaji tunavuka ngombe mbusi na kondoo wachache walikuwa na ngamia lakini ikawa chuku e, ngumu kwa maisha ya hapa ndio aiku kasa iti lakini hii mbusi ngombe imetum na gondo na sisi ni wabukachi wa ngombe according to the historians the endorois form part of the wider kalenjin community the highland nilots as they speak the kalenjin dialect however the endorois origin migration and history remains scanty and subject to more research and study. Zeya Tor alludes the Endorois were never subject to any of the Kalenjin customs and traditions as they are an independent tribe. To raise Wagona Vitu Vivili, a bae, Igo Tibare and Gulu Wingin. One, to Gichinja Ngombe. Sisi tunaangalia mara. Na hii mara 
anaweza kuambia wewe mtu anaweza kuba kwa hiyo nyumba na hiyo kitu tunafanyanga lazima tutavute kondo tutoe tutoe nini mara ya kondo na ku, kutengeneza hiyo ngosi yake ngosi ya ngombe ndio kuliwe sisi to rais and to rais community kama nyumba kama hii tunapo mwanaume anachenga alafu mama anakucha kuweka nyasi sasa wetu wengine tunachenga nyumba mwanaume anachenga na kukucha kupanda chuo kuweka nyasi hiyo ni lana kwa sisi and to rais si hiyo ni tabu tu moja pili wakati tunachinja ngombe kuna sheria mbaya tunachinja ngombe alafu inakuwa mzuri sasa cha nyingine ya ya tukena wa kalinjin wengine wanachinja mbusi sasa hiyo ni tofauti nyingine the endoroys governance system was based on age sets in which men were elevated from childhood to adulthood in stages marked by elaborate initiations chumo being the most senior while nyongi the youngest sawe na korongoro na kabla like na ni nawaachilia miaka tu kama 15 na saliwa na tarisi wengine na wachwa hiyo basi ngine namna hiyo ngine namna hiyo basi sisi katika Torois tuko na rika saba tuko na chuma nyongi sawe korongoro kukoimet kabla like Elders were held in high esteem and bestowed powers in decision making on everyday matters. Kasha wase wakati huo ndio ilikuwa wenye kutatua shita yoyote ile inatokezea mtu agikosa agikosa na ndugu wengine ama family ikikosa ikikosa kuelewana ndio wanaisa wase na kuita go settle kufanyia chochote wanaita wase kama nani ama kumi anakuita kutatua hiyo kesi the hierarchy of clans was based on age difference <laughs> this include Chumo, Sawe, Korongoro, Kipkoimet, Kiplelach, Kipnyige, and Nyongi. Women were excluded from important decision making process and young men were forced to abide by decisions made by elders The eldest age said appointed a supreme chief whose throne was sacred and oversaw the welfare of the community. Eh utamatuni ya machief samane ilikuwa naangaliwa manyumba. Kuna manyumba kwa Ndorais karibu nyumba karibu 20 clans. Lakini kati ya clan hiyo karibu 20 kuna baadhi ya wachache ambao walikuwa naangaliwa na wasi wanaenda kiti anapo kiti na sema tunataka mtoto ya nyumba fulani achaguliwe atuongoze wasi lazima 
kwa wase kiko wase rigangina tuseme kiko tuseme sai hawa ni sawa kiko korongoro kiko koime kiko kabla la mimi sasa ni kukwani kwa hivyo sasa mimi sita fanya chochote bila kuuliza hawa wase che nikifanya hii kitu itakuwa na itakuwa na itakuwa na itakuwa na mnagani mrani ya mwaka 30 anaisa chakuliwa kibika mwaka 50 karibu 60 akichoka kutembea sasa unaenda retire wasina ruti kwa ile miti sababu hapa tuko na miti ambayo na sehemu ambayo tulikuwa naenda kugete na kuchakua kama machemoto ni sehemu kubwa kuna miti wasio walikuwa na kete na kuchatili sasa naambiwa wewe ustaabu wachilia wengine sasa una una unaje alafu usina kitu tena na nasema ilikuwa natoka kwa hii mlango kama sasa huyu huyu ya muki baada ya ya muki na kucha ya kapsaka cha kapchoron alafu baada ya hiyo ilienda kwa hii inaitwa lelmen The Androids clans and people adopted wild animal names believed to prevent inbreeding or cases of incest. For instance, the clans of Kabun or buffalo families were forbidden from intermarrying as it was termed as an incest relationship. Sitawa mtoto ya kikoime. Kikoime tiyo yote riga yangu. Mahi, ijme. Agisa, mtoto. Sitawa ata nikienda wazi. Ndiyo ane ulu yambiwa na ule muse. Muse, ule muse. Kama kimnyige wa agisa wa toto yao ya kimnyige. Akuna kimnyige wa tawa mtoto ya kimnyige. Other clans include Sokwei, which represents the bee, Sanyak monkey, Tungo hyena, Talai frog, Kobilo porcupine, Kimoi buffalo, and Tagok scorpion. Zay Karatu says wild animals remain sacred. For instance, the clan of baboons, also known as Kabon, were forbidden from killing or harming the baboon family, as it was termed as a taboo. Alavu sisi ni watu tunaishi na wanyama. Tuko na wanyama wetu, na natukupali yu ingine ya inje kukava mwaka. Ndi ugiangalia ata masai, ni karibu na sisi sababu wanavuka hii wanyama ya mstuni. Lakini kwa kale nyinyi mwingine na huwa sasa sisi hapana. Names could be assigned to the newborn based on the time of birth, either morning or evening, seasons, circumstances of birth, or beliefs in the spirit of the dead. Hata watoto wengine na sasa saliwa subuhi naitwa chemkor naitwa eh chemkwe yani karibu jua natoka ngine naitwa eh, ya jioni naitwa eh chelagat ama naitwa eh chemkemo ya makimati vitu kama hiyo as mzee johana karatu confirms the name karatu means luck as his bath was fatal katika turais tunaweka china kulingana na vile ulisaliwa hii china ya karatu e, mama alikaa kidogo mpaka akabale kwa mlango basi ikasaliwa ndio akaitwa china karatu ni mlango ya ilichelewa mpaka karibu na kwa baya lakini wakati ilipelekwa mlango basi natoka Musuri, 
e, wasee na angalia napewa china kwa toroys ni namna hiyo at times certain names could be buried in the graves of the forgotten and never to be used in the lineage na ile mtu hata ingine naweza usaliwa mtu na kaa paka na kuwa mtu mkubwa na nakosa kuoa hiyo china yake hapana itwa tena inaka paka na kuwa vile hata gichukua mwanamke hapana sa napotea bas hiyo china napotea kabisa na tubwa kwa familia kama ngekuwa familia ya talai na tubwa kama ngekuwa familia ya gifsegeta na tubwa kama ngekuwa familia ya kani na tubwa hiyo china hapana itwa tena na vile vile ni mnaiyo katika mtoto watoto wakati naitwa chalaka naitwa kipro naitwa kimoso naitwa yote hiyo na kama ile mtoto naitwa pia katika tiabu na kufa unawacha hiyo china hata kama nyumba ile nataka kuitwa nasema ile mtoto ya nyumba ile aliitwa namna hiyo lakini hakuna basi nawachwa mtoto ama mama ikibariki kabla kusaa kwa kwa family kwa kila family hiyo china itaitwa kwa sababu ya kwa sababu ya nini kwa sababu ya kitamaduni yetu tangu kama ikikupa bila kuta ile mtu amesaa inaitwa mara 80 kwa sababu hata yule mtoto inaitwa china ikisaliwa ataenda kusaa kama ule tunahesabu ya kwamba ukiita ule alikupa bila kusaa hata yeye itaenda kukupa bila kusaa hiyo ndio kimila yetu sura hii Welcome to Endless Land, a community rich in culture. The Endoroids took pride in their cultural songs meant to celebrate victory, the big warriorhood, caution, and also instill educative values to the young. Adorned in beaded necklaces with special sticks in their arms, the Endoros women are sparkling gorgeous. <laughs> while the masculine men wield spears, swords, clubs and fly whisks at the big show of warriorhood. <laughs> It is time to break bones and my colleague will not miss it out. Songs and the accompanying instruments carried a deeper meaning in the African society and among the Endoroids songs were composed based on various factors to send a specific message For instance, an Endoris man to earn respect 
had to compose a special song in praise of his bull, or what they call Eito. The masculine Morans could back up chorusing the song, melting the hearts of the beautiful queens in attendance. Kila <laughs> Saile, <laughs> So, Raids for livestock was common among the pastoral communities and endorays had mastered the skill making their counterparts like the Maasai, Pokots and Keio develop cold feet whenever Yombu or warrior horn was blown. And a victory song known as Rereya filled the air whenever victory came their way. Sasa abu yu yu nyimu ya uchindi, tumeshinda. Ama ngombe ilibiwa, tumerutisha. Kwa hivyo, hii chamii ya turaisi nikirutia mwisho. Chamii ya turaisi inakoba lana sana. Lani, kuchukua kitu ya mutu, kuhiba kitu ya mutu. Kwa harimu kitu ya mutu. Hata mutu ya turaisi kuambia huwa mutu ngumu. 
atatoro ana ukoba ni mwoga kwa sababu sama kila mmoja alisaliwa akikiwa tamu imakiki mwako It was time for us to walk on the cultural path, getting blessings from the elders as we wrap up our day. As they say, culture gives us our identity and determines who we are. Uh, us touring the Endoroys community, it was a good venture, and we've well, been caught by surprise to being endorsed into a couple with no choice or no other uh, second opinion. But finally, I'm now a married man, according to the customs of Endoroys, and Asema, I'm a happy man. Till next time, we meet on the next show. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>